Now that the data in the data source has been examined and scrubbed, we can make the mail merge template document and insert the placeholders. I have a sample letter with formatted text included. We are going to do this operation without using the wizard. The first step is to click on the Mailings tab. Click on the Select Recipients button. Select the choice to use an existing list. Navigate to the Data Source Spreadsheet file. In this case, I placed it on the desktop so we can find it quickly. Once the data has been attached, we can insert the merge fields. Place the cursor where you want the first merge field to go. Click on the Home tab. Go to the Style Gallery. Click on the style named No Spacing. This style has no spacing before or after the paragraph, which will keep your address block tight and properly formatted. Proceed to add the various merge fields to build the address block. When the merge fields have been placed, you can click the Preview Results button. Click through the records to make sure the addresses look OK on the sampling of letters. I have found it's good practice to merge the data into a third document. Click the Finish and Merge button. Select Edit Individual Document from the menu, select All or select a range of records to merge, click OK, save and name the new document. I like to give it the same name as the template file, but add the word Merged to the end of the file name. The advantage of merging to a third document is you can check the letters for errors before printing. If you find errors, it's easy to delete the file, edit the data in the data source spreadsheet, or edit the text in the letter template, and do the merge operation again. If the merge letter looks okay, then you can send it to the printer.